Find tips to become a PCB designer in electronic industry. Hi everyone, I am Vaibhav Sugandhi, passionate PCB designer and technology startup founder. In this particular video, I am going to share you a 5 important tips which I followed when I started my journey as a PCB designer in electronic industry. So let's start. First tip is deeply understanding the fundamentals of PCB designing. I hope everybody understands that without knowing the alphabets of any language, it is difficult for anyone to understand the words. Without understanding the words, it is difficult to form a sentence. And without knowing the sentence and creating a sentence, you cannot understand the grammar. That's how the fundamentals of that particular language is very important. In the similar way, in PCB designing industry also, understanding the fundamentals like what is a track width, what is the clearance, what is footprint, what is schematic symbol, all these things plays a vital role to start your career in PCB designing industry. Without even thinking about a career, just you want to know how exactly PCB designing looks like, you must understand the fundamentals of PCB designing in the first place. Once you understand the fundamentals of PCB designing, probably you will get to know how exactly the terminologies and complex methodologies are being used in PCB designing engineering. Once you understand how exactly the terminologies are being used, you can decide whether you want to pursue your career as a PCB designer or you don't want to continue with that. Because that is the place where you get to know or you get introduced to the real world of PCB designing. So that's why understanding the fundamentals of any technology is very must. In that case, understanding the fundamentals of PCB designing industry is very essential to start your career as a PCB designer. Second tip is all about practice with real-time projects. Of course, it is essential for a hardware design engineer to practice more and more with respect to real-time examples so that he or she can understand how exactly PCB designing is done in real-time. For example, if you want to learn the single-layer PCB designing, try to design a power supply a 5 volt DC power supply, 12 volt DC power supply, or maybe a 230 volt AC to a 5 volt or 3.3 volt or a 12 volt multi-voltage DC power supply. In fact, in that particular process only, you will get to know how to apply your fundamentals in reality. You will understand how exactly the track width plays a vital role in PCB designing. You will also understand what are the industrial standards are being used in this particular design activity. Nonetheless, when you start designing the single layer PCBs, you are getting introduced to the industry. But when you start designing a two layer PCBs with practical examples, you can experience how exactly PCBs are designed in real world. So that's why practicing more and more project with the practical examples makes a very important note as a tip number two. Third tip is all about understanding the industrial design standards. Whenever you want to enter into any industry, it is essential that you must understand how exactly the industrial standards are followed in the company. Because without knowing how to work in a group, without knowing how exactly the communication happens between a two engineer, it becomes very difficult to play a team role in the entire product design engineering. That's why in industrial standards of PCB design industry, there are several standards you must understand before entering into the career of PCB designer. One among them is IPC standard, which is International Printed Circuit, which is fundamental and very essential to understand how to place a component on the PCB, how to create a track on the PCB, how exactly the track width is need to be maintained in the PCB designing, or even that matter, how to design the entire circuit according to the product application requirement. Like IPC standards, there are IEEE standards, IEC standards which are being followed in the design industry of the PCB designing world. So you must understand all these fundamentals before even entering into the career of PCB designing. Once you understand these fundamentals, probably you can understand how exactly converting the present requirement or maybe the customer requirement into real-time product. Nonetheless, to check the errors, we use a DRC error check or maybe ERC check, which are again a part of the design activity in the PCB designing industry. Once you understand these industrial standards, probably you will become a technically competent to work in a team which is already working on a project in the industry. 
Nonetheless, you also need to understand how to do the documentation, how to report the work to be uh, done in in the meeting, or maybe you also need to know how exactly you share your work with other teammate in your project work. Say, for example, if you are working in a group of people, or if you are working in a company where group of people are working on certain project, you must understand how to communicate between one point to another point, how your designs are need to be maintained. In fact, in large scale industries, maintaining a documents is one more hectic task, which is being solved by artificial intelligence nowadays. But once you understand all these things, once you understand how exactly the industrial people works by understanding the industrial project management standards, then probably you can get into the industry with ease of designing the products in PCB designing industry. Tip number four is working with a startup company as an intern. Of course, when you start your career, obviously you will be not having any experience. And most of the companies in their interview, either they ask for experience or they ask for internship experience. Because without having experience working in industry, it becomes very difficult to answer interview questions or participate in the interview and to crack that particular interview. When it comes to our education system and most of the things that we learn in theory will not be applicable in practical. That's why there is a huge gap between our education and our industry. Again, it's a big topic to discuss. We'll keep it in the other video. But right now, what we can focus is you become a smart person by taking more and more internship activity in your college days. Or even if you are done with your college, you can take another three month to six month of time to do a certain internship with a PCB designing software company or maybe a PCB design engineer at certain ESDM company. For example, in our company, we hire interns to work on certain projects. Three months of time or maybe six months of time is allocated to them to complete one project. In that particular project, they are exposed to the real-time product development activity, which is product development cycle in ESDM industry. On that time, they are literally designing the PCBs to match the IPC standards as well as our company standards to deliver the product to the customer. Of course, we will be helping them in the process as an expert or guiding them to finish the project on time. However, they will be given with a chance to experience how exactly the products are designed in real time industry. That kind of an internship will always help you to start your career as a PCB designer. Tip number five is watch experts design tutorials. Of course, uh, we have a habit of learning from various modes. And one among them is watching other experts doing that particular PCB designing. When we watch multiple videos, which are posted on YouTube most of the time, and you can see how the experts are using the tools and techniques of that particular tool, which is an EDA tool, by the way, and to design a PCB. So one among them is Altium Designer is a YouTube channel which helps you to understand how exactly Altium software is being used in industry to develop a lot of projects online. And also the second online creator or a YouTube content creator is Karl Bojija. He is one of the best person who will teach you how exactly the PCBs are designed for the uh, various applications. In fact, he is one who is experimenting with respect to uh, brushless motors, I mean the PCB motor design using the electromagnetic induction principle. And the third YouTube channel which I recommend is Great Scott because this one channel will help you to lot a lot to understand how exactly basics of electronics is used and how exactly the circuits are designed when you are designing the product by electronic means. When we are watching these kind of videos, you will get to know how exactly experts are designing the circuits by using an EDA tool. By doing so or by watching them, you will learn a lot of skills or a lot of tips and tricks that you can implement while you are developing your product in real time. However, if you are a beginner who doesn't have any experience of understanding the terminologies of these great creators, then don't worry, I have a backup for you. We at Linked Frequency have created an absolute beginner course for PCB designing industry to start with. In fact, in this particular course, I have covered the fundamentals of PCB designing, basic terminologies of PCB designing, and covered it in a very detailed manner that you can literally learn from scratch. The link for this particular course is given in the description, or you can click on the i button here to join that particular course. Of course, it is free of cost, and it is open source for anyone to start with and complete. 
I believe these five tips are going to help you to start your career as a PCB designer in electronic industry. Consider subscribing to our channel Linked Frequency. Help us to grow by sharing this video with your friends and colleagues. See you again in the next video. Until then, tune yourself to make a difference.